why we did that first is once you can identify prepositional phrases, uh, identifying the proper subject and verb gets a whole lot easier. For example, we've got a lot of nouns. We got people, we got John, Juan, Bob, um, there's water, like who or what is the subject? That gets a whole lot easier when you identify the preposition, which is at, and you identify the, uh, the entire prepositional phrase is at what, at Juan and Bob. If you take that out, so all this should be kind of coming together now, all you're left with is that John throws water. So John is the subject. What does John do? He throws. What does he throw? He throws water. Um, at Juan and Bob. Bob is the prepositional phrase. It adds length and strength. It's like icing on the cake, but it is not the cake itself. It is not needed for the sentence. It, add, it makes a better sentence. But uh, in order to identify the proper subject and the proper verb, then, um, yeah, you can just, like, take it out. So John is singular. John throws the water. That is a correct singular subject. Singular verb in the sentence. And in fact, you could even take out the object. And John throws is a complete sentence. All right. It's not a good sentence, but it is a complete sentence. Because all you need is actually a subject in verb. All right, let's take a look at another one. Get myself out of the way here. All right. Um, John and Jessica throws the water. The question is, is this correct? Singular verb in the sentence. And in fact, you could even take out the object. And John throws is a complete sentence. All right, it's not a good sentence, but it is a complete sentence. Because all you need is actually a subject and a verb. All right, let's take a look at another one. Get myself out of the way here. All right. Um, John and Jessica throws the water. The question is, is this correct? Throws water at want. First off, let's make this easier and take out our prepositional phrase. At one, at, remember the bunny goes blank the box? Think of that sentence and any word that goes in that blank is probably a preposition. Uh, can the bunny go at the box? Absolutely. The bunny goes right at the box, hits it and, with its head and gets concussion and like uh, forgets everything. But anyways, that is a preposition. At, at is a preposition. At what? At one. That's the object of the preposition. Therefore, that is a prepositional phrase. Just take it out. So we are left with the subject. John and Jessica throws the water. Now the question is, is this correct? We know that John being singular he throws the water. But John and Jessica, who or what's the subject? This one's a little tricky. Both John and Jessica are the subject. So together, 